Daylight savings time has me messed up, and my sleeping schedule is even worse now than it was before daylight savings time rolled in. Big surprise, it's happening to everyone. Hey guys, it's Megan, and today I am going to be doing another talking video, but yeah, if you're new here, you should totally subscribe and hit that bell notification button down below so you can get notified every time I upload a new video, which should be every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Today I want to kind of reflect on the past few months, specifically uh, August to what is now the end of November, because it's already the end of my fall semester of college, well of my sophomore year of college, and these past few months have been crazy. They've been very busy and I've been so productive and I've done a pretty good job at planning out my videos, like making bullet points and lists of things I want to say, but for some reason I thought it would be a good idea to not do that for this video because I feel like if I don't make a list of everything, that way I will talk about only the things that I feel are important to talk about. Also, if you are wondering if there's going to be a makeup tutorial on the makeup look I'm wearing right now, yes there will be, but it's in December and I don't know when in December it's going to be, but it's one of the December pre-recorded videos. So you'll just have to stay tuned and look forward to that whenever it happens. I feel like I've grown a lot as a person in the past few months, which I know is so cliche to say, but like since becoming single, I've learned a lot about myself that I didn't know before really or didn't accept. I've been watching a lot more YouTube <laughs> which I, I watched a lot of YouTube before when I was in a relationship, but not nearly as much because like I would get distracted and not text back, which uh, was a big issue. I know it's stereotypical that guys don't text back very quickly, but I kind of have an issue with responding sometimes because I get distracted and when I like pay attention to something, I get very, very into it and forget that my phone exists. So like, I don't know, social media makes it so that people get so angry if you don't respond right away, but you you should be able to enjoy your life without ha having to constantly worry about responding to someone, which that's just a personal opinion, I guess, but I guess that's maybe an old opinion that a lot of people don't share anymore because they need things right now, even though somebody might be busy, but whatever, that's not the point of this video either. Um, what I was getting at is I've been watching a lot more YouTube and keeping up to date with YouTubers that I've been watching, which kind of is frustrating because I know that they don't have the time to be constantly uploading, which I don't have the time to be constantly uploading because I'm a college student and I have a job. That stuff doesn't take up that much time, but like I do have to make sure my grades are good. You know, I just, I don't have time to dedicate 100% of my time to YouTube, which is reasonable. I only have a hundred and around 20 subscribers. Uh, so like, it, it's fine for me to not dedicate all my time towards this YouTube channel when it's, it's not the biggest part of my life right now. But anyways, uh, I wish that my favorite YouTubers had more time in their days to upload more content because they're so great. Like, for example, I've talked about her before, but Mikey from Glam and Gore, I love her content. I wish she was able to upload more videos, but I understand that it's really hard for her, especially with the whole stupid monetization thing going on on YouTube, which I'm not going to get into in this video. I may make a video about it later on, but like, that's not the topic of this video and if I go on to that I'm gonna have a 30 minute video that I'm gonna have to like throw away a bunch of footage because I went on another tangent but like I know it's hard for her to put out content frequently because for some reason YouTube wants to demonetize all of her gore videos which it's all special effects none of it is real gore so I don't understand why they want to demonetize her but I wish that there was more content of hers to watch, but there's not, and I've seen every single one of her videos, and re-watching them is great, but like, it makes me sad because I want to see more. Uh, but I've also been watching a lot of Jenna Marbles lately, and I've realized after, like, okay, so I made a video talking about how I'm not myself on the internet, and about how I didn't want to swear in my videos and stuff, but I'm realizing now that, like, I'm not gonna... I don't really want to try and censor myself if I am going to develop as a person the way it seems that I'm developing in real life. I want to be about as comfortable talking to the camera as I am comfortable talking to my friends. And when I talk to my friends, I'm kind of vulgar. So like, I don't want to censor myself and make it sound like I'm fake on here. So like, if it happens, it happens, I'll bleep it out, whatever. 
maybe sometimes I won't bleep it out, I don't care, but like I've been watching so much Jenna Marbles lately that I've adopted the way she talks, which is a little bit frustrating because I know that it's kind of awkward, um, especially when I'm talking to people that I'm trying to be serious around and then like my uh, sort of version of Jenna Marbles comes out and I'm like, dang it, I need to stop right now because literally nobody gets why I'm talking like this and they probably just think I'm a freak. So yeah, um, but like, that's just like part of it. Like I'm being so much more comfortable in my skin and who I am as a person and I'm realizing that I can be so much more than I was when I was in a relationship because I can just exist so much right now without worrying about what other people are going to think of me. And if people want me in their life, they're going to have to want the me that I'm becoming. So yeah, I guess that was so lame, but I don't care. I've also been watching a lot of Kira Bridget. She's so funny, oh my god. If you don't know who I'm talking about, she's this little British YouTuber who, her channel got popular through like a collab channel or whatever, and also story time videos that were kind of obnoxious. But I love her content because she's so funny and she's so real and I, it's great. And yeah, another thing that like I've noticed is I'm addicted to memes which is not a bad thing, but it, it kind of is because it contributes to me not getting my insomnia to change. So there's that. <laughs> but just I'm realizing so much about who I am and what I like and what I enjoy and who, what I want to do with my life. And like, this is, none of this makes any sense. I'm just, ugh, I'm, it's late and I didn't get much done today because I had a killer headache all day because PMS is terrible and mother nature hates me so I've had a headache and cramps all day and I wanted to die but I didn't and I'm sitting down and recording two videos for you today one of which you will be seeing in November, the other you will be seeing in December so yes. I've also been watching a lot of Shane Dawson lately and Jack's films and they're just so funny and it just like makes my day every time they upload videos because they're so great and so entertaining and it's just nice to have something to look forward to I guess and I think I'm finally getting to a point where I can move on and maybe even start dating again and it's nice to think about that because I just I want to be happy and no I don't need another person in my life but I like to make somebody else happy it's nice to be able to talk to someone and be like not necessarily in love but like just it's nice to be able to care about someone be it either just in a friendship way or romantically i like caring about people and i like giving love like i am a person who used to get all of their energy from being in love which is very bad because love doesn't always last forever when it's not real I guess, on both ends. But I'm still a very loving person and I have so much love to give and I enjoy giving love and sharing it with people that I care about. But yeah, I think that I may be able to start dating at some point soon and I don't think that I will really share much about any future relationships on the internet. Maybe I will, it really depends on how it goes and how comfortable I am doing that, but like it's kind of traumatizing thinking about another breakup, which I don't date for fun. I considered doing that when I was not ready to start dating again. I'm a person who cannot just date for fun just to have another person be there. Like I date with the intentions of seeing the potential for a future. I don't date just to date or just to feel good about myself. I date to make another person feel good about their self. I honestly, it's morbid, or not not necessarily morbid, but it's like, it's my priorities aren't really the best. Like I could honestly care less about myself and making myself feel good. I like making other people feel good about themselves. Like, because I don't think much of myself, I don't know what I'm getting at. This video wasn't supposed to turn into a dating video, <laughs> damn it. I'm gonna stop talking about like the whole dating stuff because that's a little awkward especially because I know that certain people who know my ex watch my videos and that's a little weird um, especially when I don't really know if I'm going to make my next relationship a public thing so yeah I'm gonna just move on from that topic because I realized that I was rambling on about stuff and this isn't my diary I think that I've done pretty great with my grades so far this semester and it's crazy to me how it's almost over but I am confident in 
how things are going to turn out. And I finally finished applying to the school I'm trying to transfer to, which at this point my channel is so small I really don't care if you guys know where I go to school. Like, you all know I go to Ferris State University right now. I have 118 subscribers. It doesn't matter. None of you are going to come track me down and kill me. And if you do, please, like, don't because that's messed up and I would r really like to not die because I'd like to eventually become a therapist and help people and I feel like if you kill somebody who's trying to help people, you kind of suck. But anyways, um, I am applying to transfer to the University of Michigan, which is a great school for psychology and I'm so excited to find out whether or not I get in and I'm nervous because my high school grades we're not the greatest, and if I had applied to go to U of M when I was in high school my senior year, I 100% would not have got accepted because I had an ACT score of 22, which is a little bit above average. It's not a great score and it's not a bad score, it's just an average score, but that is lower than the average that they accept. But um, for transfer students, they look more at your college achievements and how well you've done in your classes in college because the ACT is a college preparatory exam. So like it, it's dumb to go based off that if you already have evidence that the person is doing better in college than what that score would have predicted. So since my GPA is a 3.51, it is in that range within what they accept for college transfer students. They usually accept students who have a GPA of at least a 3.0, and I have a 3.51, so I'm a little bit above that, or quite a bit above that. I'm not close to a 4.0. I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, so I'm really hoping I get accepted. And I will get my associate's degree by the end of the spring semester, which is so exciting. I'm going to participate in commencement. Well, that's only if I get accepted to U of M. If I don't get accepted to U of M, I will still, I will stay at Ferris and I will continue to complete my bachelor's degree here. Uh, and I will not participate in commencement until I finish my bachelor's degree if I don't get accepted to U of M. But if I do get accepted to U of M, I will be participating in commencement at Ferris State because um, I feel like that's a big accomplishment to even complete your first degree, uh, even if it is just an associate's degree, because I won't be coming back to the school and I would like to participate in commencement because I do really love this school and I'm gonna miss it a lot when I leave, if I leave, because it's a great environment. So I guess this is more of an update video, just talking about what's been going on in my life outside of YouTube because I've actually had a pretty eventful life lately had so many car issues it's unreal like even during the summer I had some car issues that were like terrifying like I volunteered at band camp for my little sister's very first band camp and what it was my ex's last band camp so I was just volunteering to be there and help out because it was that was a school I went to and I love that school and marching band was my favorite part of high school and I loved being able to help out with band camp and help out and see my little sister experiencing her first band camp as a freshman. But during that, my car decided to be a jerk and these little bolts or whatever that held up something in the front of my car, I feel like an idiot for not knowing exactly what it was. My dad said that it wasn't the tie rods, but that's what the Google said when I looked it up and I was like, okay, that's what looks like it's broken. It was like these bolts or whatever that rusted and I hit a pothole and they just broke. And it sounded like there were cans under my car when I was driving and I was about to get on the highway, which didn't happen. I was actually on my way to a sleep study consultation uh, to find out that I had insomnia. Anyways, so I had to reschedule that, but that was in July. Life has just been so weird lately. Like everything is happening all at once and I've just experienced so much adulting in the past few months that I never experienced before. Like uh, on Halloween, I ended up taking my car to AutoZone to get the battery replaced because the battery decided to be awful and didn't work anymore because Michigan weather is terrible and ruined the battery. Either that or it was just a bad battery to start off with. I know nothing about cars. I'm just going off what they told me at 
at AutoZone, but they basically showed me the thing saying, yeah, you've got a bad battery. They Before they showed me, they were telling me that it was either the alternator or the battery that was bad, and I was really hoping it was the battery because I could get that replaced for $75, and the alternator I knew nothing about replacing because I had assumed it was just the battery. Luckily, it was the battery, and they replaced it for $75 and has a one-year warranty, so that's nice. And that was just such a huge accomplishment for me just to get the battery in my car replaced because like that involved me driving to a car place alone it's just crazy how much life is throwing at me all at once and I know that there's more to come next year is gonna be my introduction to loans because I'm gonna have to take out a loan to get a new car which won't be new it'll be used but it'll be a new used car <laughs> all that and I've got so many goals and all that stuff and I think I am gonna do a New Year's resolution video where I talk about things that I have goals for for the next year which I do have a lot of goals and I'm working on my list of them uh, I've already got all my Christmas presents for family ordered and I need to wrap them and all that let me know if you want to see a video of what I got them before they open them which that video will obviously have to go up after Christmas uh, because I don't really want them seeing what I got them, but if you do want to see what I got them, uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to record a video of wrapping them or whatever. I don't know. December is going to be weird for my video schedule because I want to do vlogs and stuff that will be like up to date on what's actually happening and not stuff that happened like a month before December, but I don't know. So I go home for Thanksgiving on Tuesday of this week, which this video is going up after Thanksgiving. And my next video is going to be my Thanksgiving weekend vlog. And I don't know what it's gonna have in it because it hasn't happened yet. So that's just the weird thing about pre-recording is you don't know what's happening in videos and you can't necessarily talk about it because you don't know what's happening. So yeah, um, I should probably stop rambling because I know I've been talking for a very long time about a lot of things. Uh, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I want you all to know that I'm definitely doing so much better than I was when I uploaded my vlog where I said I titled it We Need to Talk. I'm doing so much better and I love you guys so much and appreciate you all so much. Since all my videos in December are going to be pre-recorded, if you actually care about what's going on in my life, you should follow me on all my social media accounts which are on the screen right there. I like the little thing I made so you can actually see them. This is very early on in my YouTube career. Uh, so it's nice to actually have a thing be there. I don't see it on the camera, but I know it's there in editing. But yeah, all here are my social media platforms and you can follow me there, subscribe, and all that stuff. If you tweet me, I will most likely respond because nobody tweets me and I don't have a million notifications all the time. Uh, and if you comment on my Instagram pictures, I will usually reply and I'm pretty good at replying to things. I don't add everybody back on Snapchat because Snapchat is more of like a personal thing, but I make my story public, but yeah. If you guys want to see the behind the scenes of my videos and my life, especially throughout the month of December and actually January as well, uh, where all my videos are going to be pre-recorded, you should follow me on all these accounts. And yeah, that's cool. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below of what other videos you want to see me do. I will try to do as many as possible because I don't want to run out of ideas and I don't have a lot of story times to tell you because my life is super boring and I'm super awkward and I'm not that funny and I try way too hard. But I want you guys to enjoy my content. And if you haven't already subscribed, you should totally do that and hit the notifications bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload a new video, which I've done a great job at uploading every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!